Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Southampton facing Leicester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And players waiting in the centre. Iannaccio. Will he finish? Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Short corner taken. Able to get a body in the way. And Iannaccio has it. Constantly thwarted. Poor pass under no real pressure. And they need to get tighter. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Tielemans. Kiernan Dewsbury Hall. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now can they counter clinically? Madison. And a chance to whip it in here. Just made sure nothing came of that. Salisu. Or Prowse. Well, the supporters think it's on. Went in strongly to win the ball. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Dewsbury Hall. Now Iannaccio. Barnes. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Into the advanced position. And space to cross it. El Yunusi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Harvey Barnes. Dewsbury Hall. It's there for him. And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. So there goes the half-time whistle. And as far as our hosts are concerned, another tale of playing under...